Reporting from Acuras in New York, I'm Rashmi Basu, keeping an eye on Acuras with some of the biggest headlines last week. DebtWire got the scoop last week on beleagle telecom Legato receiving approval from its lender group for an amendment, permitting it to defer certain payments and have the flexibility to issue new one and a half lien debt. The added leeway is critical for the company as it seeks to extend operating runway while it rates FCC approval for commercial use of its spectrum. Beside extending the runway, the amendment, which was pre-negotiated with a group of lenders, helps put the company in a stronger position to support its 5G efforts in the U.S. Next, Merger Market posted that Saks Underwear, a Vancouver-based men's underwear and basic apparel brand, is exploring a sell with financial advisor Financo, according to sources. The company generated around $100 million in Canadian dollars in revenue and $16 million in Canadian dollars in EBITDA in 2019. A Saks Underwear process would come as other underwear brands, Me Undies, and Tommy John have also been exploring sales. Saks Underwear sells its product directly from the website and at over 2,000 third-party retail locations worldwide. Saks also has a strong presence in the wholesale channel, which helps drive its profitability. Finally, the anti-corruption report analyzed one of the largest anti-corruption finds in history. Airplane manufacturer Airbus SE has settled allegations that it used third-party intermediaries to bribe foreign officials to win contracts all over the world and agreed to pay $3.9 billion in combined penalties, divided among U.S., U.K., and French enforcement authorities. In years past, the DOJ has often been the driving force behind large, multilateral settlements, but the bulk of the penalty went to the Serious Fraud Office in London and the Parquet National Financier in France. And that's an eye on Acuras. Stay tuned for more headlines next week.